I wish I could tell you I have some really cool way of doing it, but I don't. Hey guys, it's Molly here again, and today I am finally answering what is probably my most asked question of all time here on YouTube. I have released over 150 videos, and I don't think I've ever had one video where this question has not been asked in the comment section by at least one person. Everybody just wants to know how, as a blind person, I set up my camera, make sure it's focused, I'm in frame, film, edit, upload videos here to YouTube. So, you know, I've mentioned it like in passing in other videos, but I've never actually made a dedicated video answering the question. And today I thought I would just make a dedicated video so the next time somebody asks this question, they can be directed exactly to this video. So here it is, the big reveal. Drum roll, please. I love you too, Gallup. Apparently Gallup was not interested to hear the answer, but hopefully you guys watching are. All right, so that dramatic moment aside, no drum roll this time. The answer is I ask somebody for help, or actually I ask multiple people for help. My video making process on YouTube has changed over the years that I've been making content, but one thing has remained the same, and that's that I ask sighted people to help me. Um, I personally don't know anybody with my degree of vision loss who does set up their own camera, film, edit, and upload their own videos. I'm not saying it's not out there, that it's not possible. I just don't know anybody personally who does it. If you do, definitely let me know. Um, I'm sure, like, if I had to, I could find a way to do it. But the reality is I want to release the best content possible for you guys. And... I know that the, the easiest, quickest, uh, most effective way for me to do that is to ask other people for help. I always say that as a blind person, I can do anything that anybody else can do. I just might have to do it in a different way. Um, and this is, for me, the, the best way that I've found to be able to make my content. I have had everybody help me from an ex-boyfriend to my mom to professional video editors that I pay to friends like my rock star friend Jess who is here with me today behind the camera. Say hi Jess. Hi. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of hands that, that play a role in, in making just this one video possible for you guys. But I'm, I'm so dedicated to and so passionate about doing this that you know, I've, I've found whatever ways that I can um, to, to make it a reality. I found that in life, unfortunately, a lot of people can be embarrassed about asking for help. But I'm not embarrassed to share this with you guys at all. It's never something that I've tried to hide from you. Like I said, I've mentioned it in other videos in passing. Um, but it's, it's not something I'm embarrassed about. I don't know, maybe watching this video now, like you watched some of my videos prior and you're watching this one and you think, oh, like, she's not as capable as I thought, or she's not as talented as I thought she was, or she's not as cool as I thought she was because she can't do this on her own. And if that's what you think now that you know that other people help me, that's fine. It doesn't change how I view myself. Other people's perceptions of me don't affect how I view me. Um, and I think that's really important in life, to not let other people's view of you change uh, your own self-esteem, your own confidence, or how you view yourself. You know you better than anybody else. I know what I need to do in order to get the job done. And asking for help is what I've got to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I think a lot of people seem to think that asking for help means that they've failed. Um, because they can't do something on their own. They're not good enough. But nobody is 100% perfect at 100% of what they try to do in life. It's not possible, we're humans, we're not robots, and I'm pretty sure even robots make mistakes. I mean, I might be wrong, but I'm, I think they probably make mistakes. So it's, it's okay to ask for help. The way I view it is asking for help isn't failing, but failing to ask for help when you need it is. So if there's something that you can't do on your own, whether you think you should be able to do it on your own or not, big or small, whatever it might be, don't be afraid to ask for help. People won't judge you if you're surrounding yourself with the right people. I make sure to surround myself by people who recognize and appreciate my strengths and who are understanding of my weaknesses and step in when I need it. And I think that's really important. Uh, if you're surrounding yourself with the right people in your life, 
When you reach out for help, they'll be understanding and they'll just step in where and when you need it. I've gone through a number of people, like a number of people in the past couple of years of making videos on YouTube, which is why you might see things over the years, like my older videos to my newer videos, um, changing in, in the look, vibe, style. Um, and that's because I've, I've changed uh, the people that I work with. And it's it's been a process trying to find the right fit. And I feel like I'm finally, finally getting there. And I'm finally feeling really confident and proud and happy with how my channel looks, feels, and sounds because it's actually reflective of, of who I am. You know, I feel like uh, I have so many creative concepts and ideas for this channel and how I, how I want it to look, but I need other people to step in and make that creative idea in my mind a reality online, um, reflected on my videos, my thumbnails, my uh, banner, like all of that stuff. And um, it's, it's been hard to find those people who can really take my ideas, understand them, and make it happen. Um, and so I appreciate that I've, I finally feel like I've found that right team. But it's, it's hard when you have, you know, this is my channel. It's, it's me. I want you guys to feel connected to me and for it to be as authentic and genuine and honest and real to me as possible. And... Um, so finding those people that, that have helped to make that possible is just so exciting to me. And I hope that you guys are liking the content. And that's why, like, if you see backgrounds change in videos and stuff, it's because I do. Like, I go to friends' houses that are willing to help me film. So, like, one day I'll be at one friend's house because she's able to help me film that day or, you know, whatever it might be. And that's why, why things change up and why they've changed so much throughout the years that I've been making videos. But I know whatever it might be, like giving up your baby like your creative idea or whatever it is like to somebody else and trusting that they will take that idea and do it justice can be really scary um but i really believe that whether you need help or not like collaborating uh working together sharing your ideas with others can really help bring out the best result because you're taking your strengths and working with other people's strengths I think it's so important in life to recognize what your strengths are, to also recognize what your weaknesses are, because we all have weaknesses. That's that's a reality, you know? There's no escaping it. Like I said, nobody's perfect at 100% of what they do, and that's okay. In fact, I think failure is important in life, so, you know, don't, don't shy away from it. Don't be scared to take risks because you might fail, because you learn a lot from failing. I know I've failed a lot, so, <laughs> and I've learned a lot when I've done that, so yeah. Um, I would really love some conversations in the comment section. I would love to know from you guys. Do you feel like other people's perceptions of you affect how you view yourself? And if so, why do you feel that way? Um, do you struggle to ask for help in your own life? Do you find it difficult to trust others with your own creative ideas or, or just with whatever it might be to, to kind of take that and to run with it and to help you and support you in making it the best thing it could be? I definitely want to have some, some conversations to see what you guys think about this topic. And I really hope this video has helped clear some things up for you guys about how these videos come to be, how this video right here was made possible. And if you see people asking this question, definitely point them in this direction. I also want to take this time to say a huge thank you to every single person who has played a role in my journey on YouTube to getting me to where I am today. Uh, all the video editors I've worked with, all, all the different uh, people who've helped me set up my camera and find the best equipment and lighting and backgrounds and help me set up a background and whatever it might be. However, whatever way you have played a role, thank you so much because I'm so passionate about this and I love this so much and it brings me so much joy. So I couldn't do it without all of you who have helped it um, and all of you viewing it. You know, this, this wouldn't be a thing without you watching it. So thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate you hearing me out on these rambly videos that I make. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.